All right, welcome to lab 23. We're going to learn how to do this experiment. The first part is to make copper solutions. If you make them in a 10 mil graduated cylinder, it will work out best. You can add a known amount of water. Carefully uh, do that with droppers. And then carefully add in the right amount of copper. It's best if you can mix it somehow, but you can then just pour it right into the plate. You're going to make five of these solutions going from low to high here. Next, you're going to clean your electrodes, scrub them, uh, rinse them, and wipe them down with deionized water. This is very important to get the surface as clean as possible, and they'll react the same way every time. Clean by scrubbing, rinsing, and wiping. Next, we're going to put a salt bridge in there and uh, put our electrodes in and make a measurement copper to copper and zinc electrode in with the zinc solution. Get your highest voltage. Take out your salt bridge when you get done. Put it in your next two wells. Clean the electrodes, scrub, rinse, and wipe. And put your copper electrode in your copper solution and your zinc to your zinc solution. Do it in your second solutions. And then in your third solutions with a new salt bridge. Get the highest voltage you can. Clean and rinse again. Put in a new salt bridge. Get the highest voltage you can. It will take a while. It could take many minutes to do each one. This has been sped up for time. And then lastly, clean, rinse, and wipe. Electrodes with a new salt bridge. And I'll put it in there and get the highest voltage you can on your voltmeter. You're making a battery. So you're trying to see what the, the voltage you can get out of there, the highest one. So that's the goal, is to get the highest voltage out of each well. And then you're going to plot all of these. Be consistent, be careful, be clean. Thanks for watching this experiment done by Dr. Ryan Hayes at Andrews University.